What's going on my dudes? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have for you guys Fabinho player review my guys. All right summer showdown It's another summer showdown and we have both of them for you guys We'll be trying out Fabinho. We'll also be trying to find out for you guys for either later today or it'll be uh, a morning upload tomorrow So let's go ahead and get into Fabinho guys This car looks an, like an absolute beast guys and before we start man I do want to say if you guys do enjoy all these videos Make sure you guys like the video for the YouTube algorithm as it does help out quite a lot guys now, Fabinho is 6'2", he is medium high, my dudes, and he does have that 3-star, three 3-star. Three um, so, overall, the car looks really good, guys. He, he's basically a Vieira, basically, right? I've played with Vieira many times, so I'm going to be basically comparing him to Vieira. And, yeah, man, that's basically going to be it. Now, here's the walkout, because it's kind of funny, I'm not going to lie. Well, I was going to show you guys the walkout, but no walkout, so let's get to the player. But, as you guys saw right there, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, but anyways guys now going into the pace and into all this stuff You know the pace looks really good on the card voice He has good acceleration a good sprint speed for a CDM that looks fantastic Honestly the shooting on the card looks really good as well So if you do want to push up with this card, you have that ability to do so his attacking percent is great His finishing is decent his long shots and power shot and shot power is really really good So you are gonna be able to do that and then of course his penalties are 99 So you're gonna go into a penalty it's gonna come in clutch All right going into the passing guys his passing looks fantastic vision crossing looks awesome um, which he won't be doing too much crossing to be honest with him being a CDM um, Now going over to the short passing and long passing fantastic And that's good to see because you know you want to have good CDMs good midfielders with good passing and then the curve is 83 Which is also good and now going over to the dribbling guys um, This is kind of like where the card is is losing a little bit of, of you know It's it's touch its power agility 77 and balance of 77 in my opinion are quite a little bit low Now the reason why I want to play with him on a basic cam style guys is because he does get the sprint speed up He gets the uh, he, he gets the short passing and long passing basically maxed out He gets the agility up. He gets ball control and dribbling up Now I'm gonna play with basic in a game and then switch to like an anchor because I do want to play with an anchor on him Maybe an engine as well. I think that an engine on this card would be really good, too um, because I do want to get that pace up a little bit, but I want to see how he how he performs with a basic cam style But yeah, so 77 agility 77 balance reactions are amazing ball control is amazing dribbling is really good and composure is really good guys So I wish that agility and balance were like an 85 that would have made the card super super like clean now defending wise He's in exceptional guys. He's got good interceptions. His editing accuracy is good. His defensive awareness of 93 standing tackles 96 and sliding tackles of 95 and, and again guys basic cam style boosts basically that up to like max and then you go over to the physical basic cam style boost the jumping and the strength which is what you need so i think a basic cam style on this card is very ideal now let's go ahead and get into the games guys and again this is going to be the team that we're going to be using uh and shout out to one of my viewers over on twitch for letting me use his account for doing this thank you let's go ahead and get into the first games guys before i continue though let me know if you guys want um you know uh reviews on bruno kubo or ibra because I, I he also has those players so let's go ahead and get into the first game first game guys with wow 99 cr7 all right very very good team this guy's playing very sweaty he might be going for that bruno objective i hope he's not one of those players that puts the controller down guys that's the only thing that i do hope so let's go ahead and get into this game and see what happens so first off i do want to test out how uh you know fabinho performs here boys just basically like a moving test all right so right off the bat guys that dribbling that dribbling is decent compared to um you know me using Vieira. Vieira is very stiff and um this fabinho does not seem stiff at all to be honest with you guys yeah his dribbling is good boys dribbling is good better than uh, i was using david luis this weekend and definitely better than luis as well right there he literally keeps up with cr7 man what are you anticipating seeing well it's with fabinho Nice pass right there. Nice run by Neymar. Let's take a long shot with him. Keeps up with the ball. Ah, bad pass right there. Cristiano Ronaldo. This could be an interesting look at him blocking. Look at him blocking that pass right there as the AI. Bruno Fernandes has it. Right there gets the ball very aware of his where he's at I like how he's uh, very aware of like where all the players are at as well because he's blocking the uh, The striker from being open right there guys Here's Essien It's with Fabinho 
Oh, look at that pass. Beautiful pass. Can he finish it? He does not finish that, but man, that was a nice pass by Fabinho right there, guys. Intercepts that ball beautifully. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Fabinho's got some really nice dribbling, man. Honestly, for for a CDM and look at the speed. Catches up to I think that's Mars right there. Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. It's there for him. Might still be able to Fabinho do gets it out of there perfectly. Literally right place, right time. That would have been such a nice pass, man. His passing is really nice, dude. Just Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes. Fabinho. I like Fabinho a lot, guys. Let me go ahead and say that, man. Fabinho right there once again. Get in that ball. All right, guys. Next game with Fabinho. Let me go ahead and say this, guys. So far, I really like the player. I think he plays very, very nice. I think he is uh, good enough to honestly be in anybody's team right now. Um, I used David Luis this past weekend league and 10 times better than him. I've used Vieira of middle, Vieira baby, and he's definitely better than both of them. Um, he's got very good dribbling. He's got very good passing. He's got, he's very strong. And of course he has that shot on him. I do recommend the car so far. Let's go heading into second game. Look at Fabinho making that run right there, guys. Makes the run. He literally gets the ball, passes it. Uh, that I like that baton right there. If you want to play him at CM, I believe you can also do that, but I wouldn't recommend it. You guys should probably stick with playing him at CDM. All right, guys. So that guy scored a uh, he scored a free kick. As you, uh, I don't know if I saw the free kick or not, but he scored a free kick and then he just kept position through the back. And I was not able to get the ball for like into like the 30th minute. So I just left the game in. I don't want to play against a guy that's going to score a goal and literally just keep possession at the back of the line the whole time. So, next game, boys. It's the ball back right there. Modric. Del Piero. Nice. I'm telling you guys, man. This Fabinho is really nice. Fabinho right there. Takes it. Uh, EA Sports now. does their thing. Dude, again, Fabinho tackles like 10 times. But, like, it, it's, this guy's just getting the ball back. There we go. Finally, we get the ball back. Thank you, Fabinho. Fabinho is very, very persistent. And then, yeah, he tackles so once and he gets the ball. Again, right there. We're literally struggling to get the ball. And this man, look, this man over here, man, takes one tiny little tackle, gets the ball back. Fabinho right there gets the ball. Nice pass. Let's go. What a play. Again, Fabinho right there takes the ball, turns it into a goal, basically, guys. I'm telling you guys, man. This Fabinho is the real deal. I think I'm, I'm going to do him. I think I'm going to do him on the Road to Glory. Maybe on the RTG, on the main account as well. When you're right there, intrudes, doesn't... Ugh. Again, dude, the ball just goes back to my opponent. Really strong play in the tackle. Fabinho gets the ball once again. He rushes right into that, man. Like, he, he's so quick. Teammates getting out of the way because they know he can dribble it here. My boy, dude, I, I, I'm, I really do like Fabinho, man. I'm not gonna lie. Crossing here. Long shot with Fabinho. Ooh, wow. Saved. Wow, what a shot. Saved by the keeper. He can't hang on to the ball. Costly loss of possession, maybe here. Okay. Take those long shots with Fabinho. I really wanted to take a long shot with his right foot. You guys saw that left foot shot. You guys see that right foot shot, guys. Fabinho, pace is there. Passing is there. Shooting from long shots is there even from inside the box. All right, the dribbling is really good on the card compared to like Vieira Even even a CN. I'm using a CN for the first time and he's better than him as well All right, he has the strength and the physicality and the defending this card basically has it all I do think that an engine on the card would be really good to make the dribbling even better But overall guys the dribbling is already really good. Look at that intercepting like a mad mad, mad man Alrighty, my dude. So, Fabinho Summer Showdown. Guys, overall, this card already is amazing. Okay? Now, the question is, do you guys think Liverpool will be able to win against, you know, um, Man City? I'm about to pull up. I'm about to pull it up right here, guys. Do you guys think Liverpool 
will win against Man City this Thursday. If they do, Fabinho will go up to a 95 rating chat. And guys, plus three on the card. Eight, dude, this card is already so good. If this card goes up to a 95, he's going to be bonkers, guys. Like, holy cow. This card is crazy, all right? The three-star, three-star is good. Right footer, medium high, 6'2", CDM. He's a mammoth of a beast, bro. It's like, literally better than Vieira middle. Better than Vieira, baby. I haven't used the prime or the primer, so I can't really say anything about those two, right? But so far, guys, he's better than those two. And I would just imagine that he's just as good as the primer primer because... Guys, this card is literally next level, man. His pace is amazing. He has good acceleration, good sprint speed. He doesn't feel slow or clunky whatsoever for a CDM. Like, he feels very, very, like, fluid on the game. He feels very, very strong. His shooting was good. You guys saw we took a couple of long shots. His He shot a left-footed a left -footed shot that could have gone in. Goalie deflected it. And then after that, he takes a shot. Goes in the goal with his rifle from outside the box. So his attacking position good, finishing was good, even from outside the box, right? Because we only took a couple of shots with him. And then his long shots and shot power was amazing, right? So penalties, we didn't take any. But overall, guys, I think Fabinho's pace and shooting is on fleek, all right? Now, going over to the passing, guys, this is something that I, I like to brag about on players that have the good passing. And, guys, this card has it. He's got the vision. He's got the passing. He's got the long passing, short passing, curve, everything that you need, man, from a CDM uh, to play well in the midfield and not really make as many mistakes. So overall, guys, Fabinho, summer showdown is amazing now going into the dribbling his agility and balance i actually didn't feel that was that big of a deal i was kind of scared it was going to be a bigger impact on the card but it actually wasn't the the dribbling was uh, really really good on him man so his agility and balance was good his reactions ball control dribbling composure everything was good about the card man um now i will say an engine will probably help out the card a little bit more if you guys want a little bit better dribbling on him but overall guys he is just insane for a cdm he can even play cm and you won't really feel the difference um like he's just so good honestly he really is all over the field he he is like just everywhere all the time um if you do make runs with him he also does make those runs he does make the runs like excessively so you can do that with him as well now going over to the defending guys what can i say man his interceptions were phenomenal his defensive awareness was really great standing tackles and slide tackles were really good overall my bad guys overall i i do think that he is a a player to go for his physical was great too his stamina was great didn't notice a single thing his strength was great pushing players off the ball easily he wasn't getting knocked down at all and then his aggression was fantastic guys now like i said he, uh, he also has a solid player. Like I said, guys, if he does go up to a 95, this card is going to be the most meta CDM in the game. No doubt in my mind. I used David Luis this weekend, like the big ball, the big, uh, you know, the SSS one. And, and literally this card, dude, like smokes it 100% out of the way, man. Like like nothing compares to him, right? Vieira midfielder, uh, uh, me a midfielder, Vieira, Vieira mid middle, like, uh, like icon middle. Nowhere near this level, man. The pace on this car, the dribbling, uh, the shooting, the passing, uh, insane. Defending and physical, we could kind of say they're probably close to the same. But overall, I think Fabinho just like takes the slight edge on defending and physical as well. So overall, guys, Fabinho is very, very nice. And then, of course, he's got the medium high for the midfield. So it's great. Uh, three games with him, one goal. Personally, guys, I really recommend doing the card. Now, like I said, I will be doing a review on Fodden as well. And uh, I don't know how he's going to be, but I'll be doing him either for uh, later today as well, or it'll be a uh, morning upload, all right? So look out for that as well. If you guys enjoyed the video, guys, please make sure you guys do hit that like button because it does help out with the YouTube algorithm and it boosts up the views and everything. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think of uh, Fabinho. Let me know who you take. Are you taking Fabinho or Fodden? I'll review Fodden for you guys later today, uh, for tomorrow or for later tonight, whatever we decide to do. Uh, and overall, man, I really enjoy Fabinho. I think he's definitely endgame. This is the first time that I've used a CN, and let me tell you, my I was better than the scene as well. So, overall, fantastic card. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, like the video for the YouTube algorithm. I'll see you guys in the next video, guys. Peace out.